Hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear me, all right? Hello? Yes. You can hear me now. How are you? How's everything? Good to see you again. Very well, thank you. All right, thank you for joining on Friday. a Friday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, I know, right? Sorry, but it is what it is. <laughs> But we're going to be here until Tuesday, right? So we have, so it's been uh, three three days left, right? So this, today, then Monday and Tuesday, so, and that's it, right? Then you go on to, you move on to the next module, okay? But anyhow, anyways, uh, it's good to see you here. Jennifer, how was, how was your day? Very well. I have a very interesting day working. Um, taking care of kids. <laughs> taking care of your Interesting. kids. Yeah, my kids and my sister kids. So and your future family. kids. No, my my kids and my sister kids. And, and your are... sister's kids, okay. Yes. How how many how many uh how many kids do you have? Two. You have two. Someone that is. Uh, nine and Zoe, Zoe is six. Okay, and you are how, how old? Uh, I, I just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> 38. 38. Okay, I, I was We're asking, going for more. <laughs> I, was, I, I was asking because, because you know, you don't, you don't look that old, right? You don't look old, you know. Thank you. So... I take that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. Teddy Welcome. Eight. Welcome aboard. Uh, Eric, nice to see you. All right. I see that. I finally see your face, man. How are you? How was your day? Well, my day was happy. Your day was happy? It's yeah. Good to hear that, man. It's good to hear that. All right. Very good. Thank you for being here early. Uh, welcome, Giselle. How's everything? I'm fine. Thank you. I, Giselle, I, we miss you. Yeah, yeah, sorry. We missed it yesterday. <laughs> thank you, yes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I I've been uh I finally got some time to play a video game just so that that I wanted to play, which is uh Hogwarts Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> I like Harry Potter, you know, I like Harry Potter. Ah uh, yeah. Uh so yeah, it's it's that, that video game. So yeah, I it's never cool. played. You yeah. you should get it. You should get it, you know. Okay. It. It's really cool. Uh Noah, welcome, Noah. See you here. How's everything? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, how are you? I'm great, man. I'm great. Thank you for uh, being here early and thank you for joining today. All right. And I'm Gladys. Nice Gladys. You, nice to meet you. Nice, um, nice to see you. Not nice to meet you because you already okay. met me. <laughs> okay. Este, uh, this day, I uh, trip to trip to Sirius of Santa Ana. Uh, you're in Santana? No, this day. Uh, because day. I have to work. You have to work, okay. Yes, I'm busy in my company in the all day. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, that's great. That is absolutely great, okay. Anyways, guys, uh, good to see you, right? Let's get started, guys, all right? I'm cleaning my mouse because I don't know what's got into it. All right, so today, guys, uh, we're gonna, we're actually going to talk about a very special topic. Okay, this is actually one of the one of the, the 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 coolest, most interesting topics that we can ever talk about. Okay, we're going to talk about relative relative clauses um, these days. Okay, and we are going to go over the platform's answers. Okay, I know some of you guys ask, you know, about uh, some of the answers. Um, uh on whatsapp and i really appreciate guys i really thank you for helping everybody else okay congratulations if you help them now uh remember right that you must be in the class right so we can help you from here and also there are videos right every every single video that we have here is uploaded to youtube okay so if you know you miss a class and you need the answers Watch the class on YouTube, 
All right? Or you, you can ask, right? But if nobody answers, okay, you need to come to class, guys, okay? All right? Very good, guys. So anyways, <clears throat> so we're going to go over the answers. So let's get started, guys, okay? So by the end of this class, we'll learn how to use relative clauses so we can join two or more ideas, okay? We're going to go over what a clause is. We're going to talk about relative pronouns, relative clauses, and we're going to have some practice at the end. Okay, so let's get started, all right? All right, so I think we've gone over this vocabulary before, right? Um, so let's see, guys, okay? Uh, I, we've gone over this vocabulary before, right? Let's do a quick review, all right? What is, uh, who is someone egotistical, guys? What is being egotistical? Oh, what? Selfish. Very good. Selfish is a synonym, right? Selfish, right? Very good. What about stingy? Egolata. All right. Well, yeah, the, the yeah, that's the first one, right? Try not to translate, okay? Try not to translate because translation is bad, guys, actually, okay? What about stingy, guys? You know, who is someone stingy? Um, all right anyways okay very good right no no translation right that you don't say elbow in english right what about sociable repeat guys sociable sociable no no shosha repeat guys so so sociable sociable right and what is who is someone sociable? Someone that have many friends. Okay, very good. You can say, guys, someone that or someone who and then has, right? Because someone, guys, is going to be third person, all right? Treated as third person. You say someone has, not someone has. Have, okay? Very good. What about easygoing? Who is someone who is easygoing? It's like to take it easy. All right. Okay, someone, Sorry. right? Someone who is actually, it's, it's a synonym for social, right? What about temperamental? Someone who lose control. Yeah, uh, very fast. Very good, right? That is correct. And what about someone unreliable? Unreliable. You cannot trust that person, right? You can't trust yeah. them. All right, very good, guys. So, what ad which adjective best describes you, uh, Giselle? Which of these best describes you? Maybe, but maybe social. Maybe social. Why? But it's not with everybody, and I don't like it. But with everybody, <laughs> I don't like, like him. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. What about you, Carla? Which adjective best describes you? Sometimes is he going? Sometimes is he going? Okay. Yes. Why? Uh, because sometimes I have a lot of stress and I don't want to uh, give uh, a lot of importance to something that is not, uh, it's not important in my life. Okay. All right. So Very good. I try to. So I try to be an easygoing person. An easygoing person. Okay, good job. Thank you. All right, guys. Why am I asking you this, guys? Because use it in the examples, okay? That is just some vocabulary. So let's talk about clauses, okay? Guys, what is a clause, okay? You can read that, guys, but, but let me know what you understand from it, okay? Can somebody please help me read? Me. Let's go. A clause, a group of words contain a subject and predicate and function as a member of a complex or compound sen sentences. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Giselle. You're very You're kind. Welcome. All right, guys. So the definition, guys, a group of words, words that contain a subject and a predicate, right? Now, you let's change this you know, verb, right? Now, predicate is not a verb, guys, but it needs to contain a verb, okay? That's what I mean. And a verb, at least. Okay, anyways. 
a subject and a verb. Okay, let's leave it here. And let's just say plus predicate, okay? Okay, but let's focus, let's focus on these guys, a subject and a verb, okay? Okay, let's focus on three things. Group of words, all right? First of all, the group of words. And then subject and a verb, okay? Those two things. Can you give me guys a group of words that contains a, that contain a subject and a verb? That contains, sorry, contains. Uh huh. Can you give me a group of words that contains, you know, a subject and a verb? I am playing with cat, with my cat. Very good. I am playing with my cat. Okay. Very good. What else, guys? That is okay. Very good. What else? He likes video games. Is this a clause? No. Why not? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right. I get this. It is a clause, right? All right? Why? Why? Why is it a clause? The the question is why is it a clause? Or the verb and predicate have a yeah, subject. We have too. a subject. We have a subject, and we have a verb, right? Yes. Or we can say we have a predicate. This would be the predicate. Okay. Very good. So see. I am playing with my cat, right? Very good. Give me another one, guys. Anything that could be a clause. Mm, she loves... Wash your hands. She loves cook. She loves to cook. She loves to cook. She loves to go, yes, right? That is a clause, okay? What about wash your hands? Is that a clause? <laughs> yes or no, guys? Wash your hands. Yes, it is a clause. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we have an invisible. And you. Yeah, we have an invisible subject there. You wash your hands, right? She loves to go, okay? So all of these are clauses, right? Why? Because they are, guys. They contain a subject and they contain a predicate, okay? If something contains a subject and a predicate, that is a clause. What about this, guys? Mm, because I like apples. Is this a clause, yes or no? Mm, yes. yes. Yes, it's also a clause, right? We need more information about it, but it's also a clause. Why? Because we have a subject and we have a predicate that contains a verb, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Um, okay, what else would be a clause? Give me more examples. <clears throat> Quickly, guys, a yeah, clause is just simply subject, verb, predicate, right? Group of words. That's it. Anything is a clause, pretty much. So tell me I play more. soccer. I play soccer. Very good. That's a clause. I play soccer. Very good. What else? Quick, Chayanne quick. is coming to El Salvador. Very good, right? Chayanne is coming to El Salvador. All right, very good. Is that true, though? Yeah. No. Really? Yes. When? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Ah, okay. coming. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, Jennifer, give me another one. What is a clause? Give me another clause. Because... She loves cooking. Because she loves cooking. Very good. Uh, Noah, give me another clause. I think Noah got stuck. Okay, Alexander, give me another clause. Uh, but what is the topic? What What is the same, what? the last? No. Is it a new topic or did you just join the class? <laughs> yes, uh we're talking about uh, clauses. I... Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, he, likes, he likes to 
to play soccer. Okay, so, okay. All right, guys, obviously, very good. Thank you, all right? So, guys, obviously, guys, you're giving me tenses in, like, simple present and simple and present continuous, right? Is like, can I use a close, guys, in simple past and present perfect, past perfect, past perfect continuous, present perfect continuous, simple future, future continuous? Can I use... Are those clauses? Can you give me clauses in simple future or future continuous or future perfect? Let's see. I think a... yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I can say I washed the dishes. I can say uh, what about past perfect? Give me a clause in past perfect. Yeah. I, I, I had I had eaten pupusas. I had eaten pupusas, right? I had eaten pupusas. Okay, very good. All right, very I good. Have so, been. Huh? I have been. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go ahead. No, I have been. Uh, I have been a kid. I have been what? A kid. A kid? Yeah. All right, very good. I have been a kid, right? Very good, guys. So you can say all of this, right? All of these guys and that is, you know, those are clauses, right? Okay, now, what is a sentence? A sentence, guys, will end most of the times, right, with a period, okay? Remember what I'm saying right now, guys. Period, 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 okay? So let me ask you this. Are uh, this uh, are these are these um, sentences? Yes or no? <clears throat> are these sentences? Yes or no? Yes. 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 They are sentences, right? Very good. So what is the difference between a sentence and a clause? All right. Well, let's see. Okay. So what if I said this, guys? Okay. I like people who play the guitar all right i like people well let's say who know how to play the guitar right i like people who know how to play the guitar is this a sentence yes yes okay <clears throat> uh he went to london because he wanted to meet Harry Potter's country. Okay, so he went to London because he wanted to meet Harry Potter's country. Is this a sentence, yes or no? Yes. Yes. All right, very good. Now let me ask you something. Is this a clause, yes or no? Yes. Okay, yes. how many clauses do we have? Yeah, that okay. Better question, right? How many clauses do we have? Two. Very good, Carla. All right, very good. Okay, so pay attention, everybody, to this. Why, Carla? We're, okay, so here we have two clauses. You say right? You say that we have two clauses. Mm -hmm. So where are the two clauses that we have there? Uh, one is I like people. Very and good. And the second one. Mm -hmm. uh, who know how to play the guitar. Very good job. That's for Carla, guys. Well done. Okay, all right. But let's explain that, okay? Why do we have two clauses? All right? Why, guys? Because remember, it's got to have a subject and a predicate, uh -huh. right? Which usually contains a verb, right? Mm -hmm. I like. So I like people, right? See? Mm -hmm. This idea makes sense, right? Who know how to play the guitar. Hey, but, but David... Uh, where's the David? Where's the where's the subject? Where's the subject here, guys? It's, it's higher. people. Mm, nope, it's not people. It's actually who. Mm -hmm. cool. okay. by that, right? Because this is called a relative, right? A relative pronoun. Okay. Mm -hmm. pronoun pronoun right remember this word pronoun it's a pronoun guys okay it, it is working 
as a pronoun. We're gonna talk about that later, okay? How many, how many, all right, so we have one sentence, right? One sentence and we have two clauses. Now, what about here? How many sentence, how many clauses do we have? Two. We have two, where, where is the first one? He went to London. He went to London, very good. Where's the second one? He wanted to meet Harry Potter's country. Because he wanted to meet oh, Harry Potter's two. country, okay? So we have two clauses, right? And we actually have, guys, you know, a, a an independent clause, right? And we have a dependent clause, okay? And we're going to talk about these two, dependent, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, relative pronoun, a relative pronoun, guys, is actually called... Okay, so this is a real pronoun. Uh, this is a relative pronoun, right? And this right here is called a relative clause. Okay, now relative clause, guys, is actually a dependent clause. Okay, <laughs> all right. So there's a lot of mathematics behind this, right? No, guys, it's not mathematics, right? But, uh, but yes, guys. Okay, all you have to know, guys. All you have to to know right now, and all I want you to learn right now is a clause. Okay. I want you to learn the definition of a clause, okay? So I want to ask everybody, are you, um, do we all understand, guys, what the definition of a clause is, or do we have questions? Do you need more examples of what a clause is? Raise your hand, guys, if you do not understand what a clause is yet, and you want me to give you another example. Your virtual hand, right? We good? Yes. Um, all right, very good. So, all right, so let's uh, let's keep moving on, right? So, let's take a look at the, the, the examples that we got here. All right, so the first example, I graduated last year. How many clauses do we have there? One. And how many sentences? One. Very good, so we have one and one, right? Okay, I'm going to ask you guys, everybody, All right? Um, Alexander, when I came here, I saw him. How many clauses do we have there? Yeah, two. We have two, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. Why do we have two? Tell me, why, why, how, how can you tell we have two? Uh, because between, I don't know, comma? How do you say comma? Comma, yeah. A comma. Uh huh. All Between, right. Uh huh. The close. When I came here, comma, I saw him. But that's not the reason why. It's a. It's a. That, that is not the reason. So if I say okay, so if, if if it is the comma, right? So if it is the comma, Alexander, and everybody, uh, right? I could say, for example, this, because... right? I could say I like apples, bananas, uh, oranges. Okay. And that would mean, right, that if it is the comma, right, that would mean that this is a clause, this is a clause, this is a clause. Are these are, are these three clauses, one, two, and three? Oh, I no. get just one. All right, this is only one clause, because okay? They, they are, because they what have I'm, two sentences. We only have... Uh -huh. our, In the past? We have, we have, we have one sentence. A sentence will be most of the times, right? Uh, will be notated, guys. I mean, will you can you can you can tell what a sentence is by the use of a comma, right? So we have one sentence here. All right, can anybody else, guys, tell me why we have two clauses here? For subject and predicate. Very good, because we have a subject and we have a predicate here. We have a subject and we have a predicate here, right? Which contains a verb. If you see, guys, a subject and a verb, a subject and a verb, then that is a clause, right? We have two clauses and one sentence. Why is it one sentence? Because we have one period here, okay? Did that clarify it, Alexander? Yes. Okay, so if you say, I like apples, that is a clause. And then you say, I like apple because I like to eat a lot. You have two clauses. I like apple, and then because I like to eat a lot. Got it? And you have one sentence. Okay? How many sentences do we have here, Dulce? One sentence. Very good. We have, 
Thank you, Dulce. And, and uh, okay, and how many clauses do we have here? Three. Three. We have three, right? Why? Why are these three clauses? Because it has three subjects and three predicates and three and verbs. verbs. Congratulations. Good job. That is correct. Okay. Good job. All right. That is correct. That's okay. All right. So is everybody clear, guys, on the definition of a clause? Yes. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. So before we jump into independent clauses, okay, all right, I want everybody to give me an example, guys, of one sentence and two clauses, okay? Send them in the chat right now, okay? Give me one sentence and two clauses, however you want. It could be in any tense you want. It doesn't matter. I just want two clauses and one sentence, okay? Let's go, send them to the chat, guys, to the chat. Send them in the chat. All right, so we have, um, okay. I want to go to Mexico because I like their food. Very good. Good job, Eric. I was looking for the news about Chien and I find it doesn't exist. That word doesn't <laughs> Sorry. exist. Sorry. <laughs> All right, very good. I'm happy be because, because I'm studying English. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, you need to correct the spelling, but uh, the idea is, okay, uh, very good, Maria. Jennifer, she came home late. I saw her. Very good. Okay. Uh, I want to sleep. I want to eat later. Now, very good, Carla. Uh, although those would be two sentences, they should be separated by periods and not commas. Right? But, but. But yeah, there are two clauses too, right? So I have I have Noah Noah. When I came home from work, I saw the TV. All right, very good. One, two, I have Noah, Eric, Giselle, Maria, Concepcion, Jennifer, Carla, Gis. All right. Very good. I'm missing I'm missing Alexander. I'm missing Dulce. Gladys, Juan Linares. All right, I'm missing your answers, guys. All right, so Juan Linares says, I want to practice because I want to win. Very good, good job. After practice, we should not be using a comma, but everything else is good, right? Just, I was looking for... Uh, I, no, I, it should say, I, wa I was watching the news. I was watching, okay. Okay. I was watching some news about Cheyenne and I found, no. 
it's wrong again. I was look. I was. For news. Well, I was. I, you can say I was looking for news about Cheyenne. Okay, that is Gustavo buscando, right? Sí. Um, and I found them, or I found it. Right, I found it on the silver. Okay, all right, that's okay. Um, before end, right before the conjunction end, there shouldn't be a comma there, but uh, that's right. Dulce, I, I, it's I was born in Honduras. All right, I the verb that is not I born guys that that does not exist. Um, because born, like that guys, right? You should use it. Um. With the verb be, I was born, okay, in Honduras. Because born is not actually a verb. I was born in Honduras, but I live in El Salvador since 16 years. Very good. Dulce, that is, that is great. Uh, just make sure that you say, I was born, all right? Very good. Oh, yeah. Today, I did my homework, me homework, but me teacher, all right? I, today, I right, did my, okay, homework, but my teacher was not easy in class, was not in class, perhaps. All right. I like to paint because it makes me ha feel happy, Alexander. You're missing the, the subject there. It makes me. All right. Okay. I was born in Honduras, but I live in El Salvador since, since 16. Yes. All right. All right. Very good. Good job, guys. Great job. Okay. Those are good examples. Okay. So let's talk about independent clauses. So what is an independent clause? Uh, can somebody help me read? I can't read, guys, you know? <laughs> can somebody please help me read? I can. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Dulce. An independent clause functions on its own to make a meaningful sentence and looks, looks much like a regular sentence. In a sentence, two independent clauses can be connected by the coordinators and but, so, or, now, for, yet. Good job, right? Coordinators, guys. You can call them fanboys. Right? Because this is for, and, nor, but, or, Yet, so, right? Fanboys, that is the acronym, right? We're not going to go over this yet, guys, but just now, okay, you can connect them by remembering the word fanboys, right? For and nor, nor, bad, or yet, so, right? Very good. So let's take a look at it, at examples of independent clauses. Remember, guys, two things, right? Mm -hmm. Functions on its own, okay? Why is it independent, guys? Okay, this is... Uh, because it doesn't need on anything else to, to make sense, right? Remember that. For example, guys, if I say, uh, hey, Gladys, he's a wise man. Are you going to understand who, am, who I'm talking about? Yes, right? He, that, that idea makes sense on its own. If I say, I don't know, maybe you say, you know, I like him, right? Right? I will know who you're talking about. Like that, that depends on the context, right? But that idea, guys, makes sense on its own. That sentence makes sense on its own, right? Can you do it? A question, right? Does it make sense, guys? Or does it look like, does it feel like we need it, like something else for the question to make sense? I'm going to give you another example of what I mean, okay? Imagine this. Imagine this situation, guys. So what if you said, okay, what if you said, okay, if I said, guys, I, well, they love motorcycles, okay? They love motorcycles, all right? Versus this, guys. Because they love speed. Now, let me ask you something. Is this a sentence, guys, that makes sense? They love motorcycles? Yes. Yes, yeah. Yes. right? Now, let me ask you something. Does this make sense because they love speed? 
Does it make sense, guys, on its own? Alone, no, how makes sense. No, it does not make sense. Okay, guys, if it feels, right, if it feels like we're missing something here, okay, right? Okay, if it feels, guys, like this is, uh, you know, if it feels like this is the needy guy, we're going to call this guy's needy guy, okay? Needy guy, el chico necesitado, okay? If this, if this feels, guys, like the needy guy, then this is a dependent clause, okay? Because you need to have something here. Maybe you need a couple. They like, they love motorcycles because they love speed. Got it, guys? The needy guy needs a couple, okay? Yeah. All right? El, yeah. El muchacho es necesitado, necesita una pareja, okay? And that is a dependent clause. What if I said uh, uh, that play video games, right? Is this, is this a clause? Remember that this right here is a pronoun, okay? A relative pronoun. Is this a close yes or no? Yes. Yes, it is, right? So what are we going to do, guys? We're going to place it under the needy guys, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can say, all right, I like people. I like people, right? Who play or that play video games, okay? Got it, guys? Yes. Now, what about these guys? Is this a is this a needy guy? Yes or no? No, right? No, no. Because, guys, it makes sense, guys. Okay, it says, you know, I am a Nemo guy. And Nemo, right? Very good. So he's lonely. He, he can, you know, work at lonely, right? He doesn't need anybody, okay? All right. This is, guys, what we call a Kardashian, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Very good. So, see, guys, okay, so that, guys, right there is an independent clause because we make sense, guys. We make sense. You know, the idea makes sense on its own, right? So, remember, a clause, guys, it's, a, you know, it's what we have here. All right. Subject. Subject verb, subject verb, right? These are clauses, but this one is, what is this one, guys? Independent or dependent? This one right here. Independent. Right? This one independent. is independent, and this one is dependent, right? Dependent. Okay. Right? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, yeah. very good, very good, okay? So let's go back to the examples here, okay? So do it, please, right? The subject you use heating. I read the whole. I read the whole story. All right. Very good. Does it make sense? Yes. Yes. I want to buy a phone, but I don't have enough money. Okay. Do we have one or two independent clauses here? I want to buy a phone. Is that an independent clause? Yes. Yes. Not yes, guys. J J J J J is not the pronunciation. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. Very good. And here, right? Very good. That is a uh, independent cluster, right? Okay, guys. So, uh, do me a favor, everybody. Real quick, guys. You got, you got one minute to send me one example of an independent clause, right? You can please do it, guys. In any other tense, all right. Do it in, in any tense other than. Then simple present, simple continuous, okay? I don't want to hear simple continuous or simple present anymore, okay? Present continuous, I'm sorry. Or present or present simple, okay? Please send me other tenses, okay? So I want an independent clause, guys, everybody. Any independent clause? Send it in the chat, please. I'll be waiting for your responses.
All right, so let's take a look at your answers. Okay, so we have, all right, so Giselle, that would be, I like to play. All right, very good. He wants to sleep, to sleep, to sleep, right? Double E and one P. Jennifer, eat your food. Very good. I love it. I love the NBA league. Mm -hmm. All right, we're missing mm -hmm. the, we're missing the article there. Mm -hmm. She wants to take a nap. Very good. I love my dog. Very good. My should be in lowercase, uh, but everything good. I want it. I, I <laughs> should be in capital. One it should be okay, and then to cook. Mm -hmm. Right? I had a lot of problems. Very good. I bought a car yesterday. Carlos ate past it because he was hungry. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. All right, very good. <clears throat> so that guys, okay, those are examples of dependent clauses. Now a dependent clause, guys. Okay, help me read this part. What is a dependent clause? Uh, Noah, help me read, please. Just this dependent, part right here. Okay, a dependent clause cannot function on its own because it leaves an idea or draw unfinished. It it also calls for coordinate clause. Dependent clause has the independent clause complete the sentences. A dependent clause alone cannot form a complete sentence. All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, very good. So, right, a dependent clause, guys, cannot <coughs> function on its own. Okay, so it's like a dependent clause, guys, is like someone who is missing a leg and wants to and wants to walk, okay? It, right, that person will need, you know, um, some assistance, right? Some sort of assistance. Okay, so that's what a dependent clause is, okay? Take a look at this, guys. Oh, before we move on, okay? Now, we also have to know, guys, that uh, we are going to use subordinators, all right, to join dependent clauses, okay? Subordinators, guys, are words that will help us connect, you know, in a dependent clauses. Take a look at this. When I was dating Dana, I had an accident, right? How many clauses do we have here? Two. We have two clauses, right? Uh, where do you identify the independent clause? What's independent clause here? I had an accident. Okay, that is the independent clause, right? Very good. I had an accident, right? And then in the dependent clause would be when I, when I was dating Diana. Dana, right? Dana. It says Dana. Dana. Right. Okay, so we have a subject, guys, and we have a verb, and we have another verb here. We have a subject, and we have a verb, right? What is the difference? Okay, that these guys needs remember, right? The idea needs something else to make sense. You can say, I had, by the way, guys, right? You can switch the order of ideas too when you're speaking here. You can say, I had an accident. When I was. Okay, you can say I had an accident, and then you okay. can say when I was dating Dana, right? If you yes. do that, you do Thank not you. need a comma, okay? I had an accident when I was dating Dana, okay? All right, so so here, guys, how many clauses do we have? Uh, Alexander, how many clauses do we have? Here. Uh, one. One clause, okay. All right. Uh, Gladys, how many clauses do we have here? Gladys, no oh, Gladys. Okay, uh, let's see. I know. All right, let's I know the meant. I know. Okay, how many how many clauses do we have? Two. two. Okay, Maria Concepcion. Yes, we have two, right? Where is the first? Uh, where is the first clause, uh, Jennifer? I'm sorry, I, I missed the line. The three? 
The number three? Number Check two. This one. Number two. The dependent or the independent? Just, 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 just the two of them. Well, the dependent will be who stole the watch and the okay. independent will be I know the man. Very good. So we have very good. And how many sentences do we have? Two. We only or have one. one sentence. One. Yes, right? Remember here, this tells us, okay, this is a sentence. Okay, this is the end of the sentence, right? So I know the man, right? This is the independent clause who stole the watch, okay? This is the dependent clause. Why? Because we have a subject, we have a verb, right? And basically a complement, right? And this is dependent, independent because it makes sense on its own. And then who stole the watch would be the dependent one, right? Because this is the relative pronoun, right? This is the relative pronoun. All right. And then you know that you got a uh, verb, right? Uh, very good. Number, thank you, Jennifer. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Eric Cardoza, how many clauses do we have there? Eric? All right. Uh, Juan Linares, how many clauses do we have there? I think one clause. One clause? Okay. All right. We. Two. Okay, very good. Very good. We have two, right? Yes. Where's the first one? He bought a car. He bought a car, right? Is that dependent or independent? Independent. independent. It's independent, right? Very good. And plus, so we have number one and we have number two, right? We have the dependent and the independent one, right? And we have the dependent one. Okay. Because, right, we have a subject, we have a subject and a verb. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, here, I know that he cannot do it. We have how many classes, uh, Noah? Yes, teacher. I have um, one, uh, many clauses. Many, we have many. All right, how many? How many do we have? Uh, one. We have one class. Two. All right. One class. We have two. Two clauses. We have two, two clauses. clauses. We have two one. Mm -hmm. And we have two. I know two. it's dependent. Uh, okay. yes. This one is independent. Yes. This one is independent. I and this one? I know it's independent. Yes, All right. Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. He does not know where he was born. Okay. Let's see, Giselle. All right. How many clauses do we have here? Two. We have two, right? He doesn't know yes. where he was born. Where's the independent clause? Uh, independence is he does not know. Good job. Right. And this one is the dependent. Dependent, right? Where he was yes. born. Very good. Okay. Um, Let's see, Carla. If you don't eat, if you don't eat, I won't go. Which one is the dependent clause? Mm. If you don't eat. Very good. All right. If you don't eat, is that dependent or independent? I'm sorry. Mm. Independent. Okay, and this one is in the this one is dependent though. Independent. Independent. Okay. Really dependent. Good. So remember, guys. Okay. La independiente es como un muchacho solitario, right? Que necesita de alguien más, right? Necesitado, right? So you see, if I said, guys, si tú no comes, tiene yeah. sentido la frase, yes or no? Si tú no, 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 right? So this one is what? Dependent. dependent. This one is dependent, dependent, guys. Dependent, dependent, dependent. <laughs> dependent okay? All right. Yes. And this one is independent, dependent. okay? Very good. Dependent. Good job, all right? Good job. Thank you. Um, all right, the last one, guys. Whoever wants to give me the last one, right? He is a very talented player, though he's out of form. What about that? Two 
clauses. Two clauses. We have, very good, we have two clauses, right? And what is the dependent clause? The first one is the independent and the second one is, to, is dependent. Very good, exactly, right? So the first one right here, right? This one right here is the um, independent one. Independent. And this one right here is the dependent one, dependent. right? Very good. They are. These are joined by conjunctions. These are joined by relative pronouns. Okay, these are relative pronouns, which, that, where, who, right, are relative pronouns, okay? This is to a relative pronoun. This is a, a subordinate um, and uh, and this is a subordinate conjunctions and this is a subordinated conjunction, sorry, and this is a subordinated conjunction too, right, though, all right? Very good, we're gonna learn more about those so far, uh, later, okay? Uh, do we have any question, guys, so far? No. So good. So far, so good. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna have some practice now, guys. What I want you to do is, okay, tell me what type of people you like. Okay. Remember that I gave you guys. Now tell us. Tell us what type of people you like. Okay. Remember, guys, that we talked about. We I gave you some pieces of vocabulary before. Right, stingy, self, uh, egotistical, right? You can use those, uh, you can use that vocabulary or you can, uh, st you know, start fresh, right? So you can say, for example, hey, uh, Carla, what type of people do you like? Okay, you can ask this, okay? So let's see, person one, you can say, hey, what type of people do you like? Hey, what type of people do you like? All right, and then, right, person two will say whatever you know. You come, you you want to say, right? Oh, I like. I like people. Who you can say I like, I love, right? You can say I like people who. Or you can say that that too, right? That okay, I like people who that. I love people who that um, I hate people who or that okay and then you can say you know who are stingy uh, who uh, don't play video games all right, et cetera, okay? Just ask the question, what type of people do you like? And use two different type of uh, conjunctions, okay? All right, so those are the examples, guys. All right, let's get to work. Real quick, guys, okay? Just uh, five minutes, okay? So let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, let's get to practice. Uh, but she, I, she, she doesn't give <laughs> example. Oh, she's so, not here? No, I don't think so. All right. No. I'll get you into different rooms then, okay? So let's go to two and... 
there because <laughs> and if the person is so making you laugh better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Uh Alex, what kind of people do you like? Mm, I like the people who like to mm, play video games <laughs> or watch movies. Why? Um, because they have an <laughs> interesting topic. Uh, uh, this kind of people, you can speak different topics and I like to learn new things about them. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Jennifer. Uh, he's your brother, right? So you yes. already know yes. <laughs> what he likes. But um, I I like people who who is authentic. I like people who make me laugh. <laughs> And people who know a uh, different topics, know different subjects to talk about it. Uh -huh. um, and like I just said to Carla, I like it's better for me people who talks a lot because I'm very. Uh, <laughs> it's better for me to listen than to talk. <laughs> so I enjoy when people talk a lot, so I can hear. <laughs> <laughs> What about you, Kevin? Uh, I agree with you. Uh, I like, I like to talk with people that have that know about different kind of topics, uh, because I can learn more too. And, and what else? Mm, I like people that like to to do different kind of things. Because, uh, well, for example, we have a friend that uh, she works. Uh, she study at the same time. She, she have a lot of responsibilities. And that is something that I can learn to distribute my time in a good, in a good way. Uh, for that reason, I like to talk with her. Well, good job. Good job. Good job. All right, we have to go back now. All right, um, welcome. We're still waiting for it. everybody to come back in 20 seconds, guys. Man, I need to change that, that you know, those settings because uh, it takes like 30 seconds, you know, more for people to come back. Anyway, so guys, um, so on Monday, guys, on Monday, we're going to go, uh, we're going to be going like um through section four and five from the platform's answers, okay? So I will help you. Uh, I will help you answer those questions, okay? And everything will be recorded so you can watch it online if you need any help, okay? All right? Sometimes, you know, there are errors from the platform, right? But we, we uh, I always, I will always give you the answers in the class, okay? So two more days to go, okay? So Monday and Tuesday, guys, are the last days that we're going to be here in this module. I will. I would hope to see you in the next module. I don't know if I'm going to be in the next module with you, but if not, you know, you can always say hi, right? But anyways, do we have any questions, guys? Anything? Any help needed? Everything good? All right. In that yeah. case, guys, yeah. all right, have a good evening. Yeah. Uh, have a great weekend. Remember, do not drink, but if you drink, invite me, okay? <laughs> I invite you. See you guys, right? That's all right. Thank you guys. Thank you. <laughs>